Some people at the camp were emotional tonight, not knowing the future of the place that they call their current home. Well, others are prepared for whatever happens whenever it happens. New on Nightside, Rania Kaur spoke to two people who live at Camp Hope and shares their reaction to those flyers. Kathy Kearns is wrapping up her shift at Camp Hope's resource tent. She knows what a night is like at Camp Hope. It is cold. Very cold. We got like buddy heaters and things like that. Kathy has lived at Camp Hope with her dog for the past nine months. It's a safe. It's safer for me here than it would be out there by myself somewhere. You know what I mean? You know, at least I have. You know, not everybody. You there's a lot of good people here. You know, we have some bad. You know, don't get me wrong. But there's a lot of good people here too. Waiting for permanent housing, Camp Hope is her temporary home. You know, where are we gonna go? It's almost Christmas time, so they're gonna come in here and break us all up before Christmas time. We just, you know, send us out by ourselves alone. Earl Anderson, however, says he's prepared for whatever happens. Because of these flyers, um, you know, I got a uh, what I call a fallout bag or, a, you know, I'm already packed up and, you know, it's, it's just my, my welfare and safety that I'm worried about. So, you know, a lot of that stuff that I have over there can stay. He's also waiting for housing and doesn't think the warnings are necessary. It's, uh, unhumanly for people to want people to come out of their tents and not survive. We're, I mean, uh, there's not places open right now, so there's no, there's no other housing. Kathy doesn't want her job or her life dissolved. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard, but we're, we're getting through it. We are getting through it. Reporting from Camp Hope tonight, I'm Rania Kaur, 4 News Now.